The weekend began with a disturbing discovery on Friday evening. The dismembered body of a man was found floating in the swamps of the Jane Usher area. And since he was beheaded, the police are having a difficult time identifying him. The body was removed from the area. Uh, it was found uh, in a swampy area and has uh, been taken to the morgue. Uh, we are awaiting a post-mortem examination at this time and we are trying to establish the identity of this person. Uh, based on the post-mortem, then uh, we will do further investigation uh, through DNA to determine who this person is. So we understand that uh, this, this body was found just a torso. Are the police still searching for other parts of this person's body? I understand that his head, and I think his arms and arms. I, I, will, I will not go into details as to what was found. Uh, again, the, what was found is at the morgue, and we are awaiting a post-mortem examination at this time. But the family of 27-year-old Akim Augustine is certain that the body belongs to him, based on a tattoo on his back. I saw the tattoo and the pants that he left home in. So that's all the way I could have identified that it was him. Augustine went missing on Christmas Day after attending a party in the same area. Over a month later, it's the worst possible outcome for this family, who still had hope that maybe he would turn up alive. But now, they say that getting closure was the least they could have asked for. We glad that we got closure because no, we don't really have to do hat up our heads or nor he were where he there or the whereabouts or you know. It just we're just happy that we got closure. That the only thing that's puzzling to us is that when we were searching for him, the same area that they found the body, we were already there searching for him. So it's just kinda odd that they found the body in that same exact area that we searched before. Do you know if if he was in some type of trouble that somebody would want to, to, to kill him in such a vicious way? Well, yes, because he's, he's a person where he's very ignorant and everybody would want to target him because of the area he comes from. You know, and he's very he well. He's well known to a lot of people, and everybody look at him as this trouble person. But everybody have a second chance to life. Everybody have a time to turn their life around. He recently had a son. His baby will be one in March. You know, and to make the baby grow up without a father, and to make this situation happen just happen just hard, really hard. You know, and he went in an area that he didn't belong. He friend the per people he shouldn't have trusted, but I, I really don't, don't know what else to say about the situation. Now, as they begin the grieving process, Castro says she will miss the way Augustine could have sweetened up any sour mood. But when it comes to justice, they don't have much hope of getting that. He's a loving person. He like clone we, you know, we always quarrel and not new. And then next minute he acts as we thought we, you know. He like tell anybody to go to the him mode and he like dance. He he really, really, really loving and caring to everybody. He may really hands out, you know, like he could give you his last you know, no matter if you do he something today by like you could say you could do something right now to uh, hear give back and by tonight. You, he don't sweet up you and make you laugh and you know bring joy to you. You know, he made it try to change your life. He made recently well almost why well, yeah, he come out of jail and he made it try because he had he get a job and I want him made it tell me one after the death of his son and his girlfriend, which is my little sister. Does the family believe that you guys will get justice? Well, no. Because one, the system does weird. That to everybody. If he was a police officer then, but he's not, and he's well known to the police, so obviously this dead right there, you know, you know, you know, I hear not on come out of this, not on really what come out of this, and that that one thing where I know his mom wouldn't want, cause she already lose two sons to gun violence, and this her last son, now she don't have no son, no no son, no daughters, and it really hurt her in a type of way for just lose for her her eyeball in this manner. But while Augustine's mother has no more sons alive, she will have his one-year-old son to remember him by. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.